what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A man charged with attempted murder after firing at Minneapolis police officers in the chaotic protest following George Floyd's death has been acquitted of all charges against him. Jaleel Stalins argued self-defense during his July trial, testifying that he fired at the unmarked white van after he was struck in the chest with what turned out to be a non-lethal rubber bullet fired by police. Stalins, 29, testified that he thought he was being attacked by civilians, had been struck by a bullet, and was potentially bleeding out, his attorney Eric Rice told the Associated Press on Friday. Court documents show that after Stalins was hit, he fired three shots toward the van as a warning, then took cover. He surrendered when he realized he had fired at police. No officers were hit. Stalins' case drew new attention this week when an online digital news outlet, Minnesota Reformer, reported on his acquittal and examined the case in depth. The Reformer published body camera footage of his arrest that shows Minneapolis SWAT officers punching and kicking Stalins as he lay on the ground. A booking photo of Stalins taken after his arrest shows visible facial injuries. Rice says Stalins testified he had a suspected eye socket fracture, bruising and cuts. Court documents say he also had labored breathing after the arrest which his attorney said was likely due to the rubber bullet to his chest. Rice said he's not aware of any pending investigation or discipline for the officers, but requested such information if it existed and believes it should have been disclosed as part of the trial discovery. When asked if the officers were being investigated or disciplined for the use of force, Minneapolis police spokesperson John Elder said, he can't release any information because the matter is under internal review. Stalins is now seeking the court's permission to allow him to release body camera footage that became public evidence during the trial after a prior order in the case restricted dissemination of videos. A hearing on the issue is scheduled for later this month. Stalins' May 30, 2020 arrest made headlines during a time of unrest in Minneapolis, which included the burning of a police station in the days after George Floyd's death. He was charged with two counts of second degree attempted murder, multiple counts of assault and other charges. His case got added attention when the Minnesota Freedom Fund, a local nonprofit group, paid $75,000 in cash to have him released on bail. According to court documents in his case, when Stalins realized he had fired at police officers, he immediately put his gun on the ground and lay face down with his hands on the ground. A pretrial order from Judge William Koch said Stalins was motionless for 20 seconds and posed no obvious threat before Officer Justin Stetson and Sergeant Andrew Biddle approached him. The order says Stetson began kicking and punching Stalins in the head and neck, and Biddle began kneeing and punching him in the stomach, chest, and back. The judge found that Stetson and Biddle violated Stalins' Fourth Amendment rights during the arrest and that their actions were objectively unreasonable. Officer Stetson and Sergeant Biddle allowed their anger and or fear to overtake their faculties and they beat Mr. Stallings for nearly 30 seconds before attempting to place him in handcuffs, Couch wrote. The video evidence does not support their testimony. Mr. Stallings was resisting arrest in any way. Instead, he surrendered to their authority. The new attention on the case comes just months before Minneapolis voters will be asked to weigh in on a ballot question that would eliminate the police department and replace it with a new Department of Public Safety, which would take on a more comprehensive public safety approach.
Love it, man. Get rid of their asses. They ain't doing nothing. Sitting around getting free money. Riding around. Scaring people. Intimidating people. Bullying people. Lying. Stealing. Raping. Molesting. Killing. And when they get through with them, get rid of the rest of them all over this country. That's right. We'll be better off without them. This system don't need to be repaired. It's not broken. It's working exactly like they intended on it to work. It needs to be dismantled. All of the crooks and the thieves, the liars, the killers, they're in superior positions. That's right. That's why you can't get rid of it. It's systemic. You never get rid of it. All you're doing is patchwork. I like what Minneapolis got going on. They need to do it, and they need to use it as a model across the country. Now, we already know these police unions and all these types. Boy, they're going to be up in arms because they like it like this. They like, they like that bullying. They like to target certain people, violate folks' rights. They love it. That man thought he was being fired on by citizens. Now you can look at his testimony, you can look at the facts, all of the facts, and you can tell the man realized it was the police and he just laid it down. They come over there, busted that man up. They did that dude bad. Made one wonder, yeah, you know, since you was already, you know, banging on him, you know, hey, you know, you know what I'm talking about. He spared their lives and they tried to take his. Ain't that something? The man obviously was protesting peacefully but they just opened up on him and started popping. Hit him. He's lucky that they didn't hit him with something lethal because that's what they normally do. And maybe they was just out having fun, cracking jokes. You think I, you, they'll go one right there. How many points I get if I hit him in the chest? A <laughs> hundred, nah, 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 nah. That should be five, at least 500. What if I hit him square in the chest? That'd be, that should be at least 500 points. Bet. They do stuff like that. That's right. They think it's funny. They're out here so-called patrolling, so-called uh, working or whatever. And they look at, a lot of them look at the citizens like prey. And some of y'all officers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of these police officers look at the citizens like prey. They look at the citizens like the citizens are a burden. And this is why they got that chip on their shoulder. This is why they're so arrogant, so aggressive. These fools need to go down. And that's why, that's the only reason why they want to release that footage. They don't want to let everybody know how they was talking. Oh man, I bet you that conversation is something else to hear. They don't want us to see exactly what they did to that man. That's why they won't release it. Because you know, when they feel like they're in the right, the video footage get released before they start putting the tape out. Hell, as soon as somebody say something, oh, 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 they go to the video. Look, 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 look. We follow the book. We follow procedure. You know, we, we, we got a good department over here. And we just want to be transparent. When they know they're in the wrong, why they take forever to release that video footage? You know why? Because they be over that doctoring. That's right. You got to put them on blast, fam. You can't let, you can't let these fools intimidate you, man. You got to let them know what time it is. You got to put it in their face. They did Jaleel pretty bad. When I first saw the photo, I'm looking at it like, why is he... Smirking, like, why does he have this look on his face like everything good? Who knows?
Perhaps she was thinking, I'm about to get paid. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?